Hey you guys, what's going on? Shaquan here. And in today's video, I am going to be talking to you guys about the trade that I took today. Now, this was a highlight lot size trade. And I'm just here to tell you that sometimes you can be right in the trade and still lose. And that's exactly what ended up happening to me today in this pound USD trade on the one minute time frame. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get right into the information. So the first thing that I do when I get in my chart, as always, when I'm scalping now, I start on the 15 minute time frame. The reason why I start on the 15 minute time frame is because I want to see how price has moved going into the hour that I'm about to trade. I'm only trading from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Not before, not after, just that one hour, because after that one hour is done, Got a busy life after that, right? Especially right now in this season that I'm in. Now, I also have this rule where if I lose one trade, I'm actually done. Because psychologically, right now, going back into scalping after years of swing trading, um, I don't want any more than one loss to get me psychologically. Not only that, because I'm going in um, at higher lot sizes, I'm risking upwards towards 1% on trades. And I'm trying to keep my losses below 1% of my total account equity, right? So with that being said, let's go ahead and let's get into the trade that I took. So in the 15 minute time frame, when I came to the charts, I could see that on the 15 minute time frame, price had made this high. This is at nine o'clock when the candle form, it closed at 915. And then I saw price make a new low. Now, automatically when I saw price made a new low, I said, you know what? I actually want to be short on this trade. Then I saw price come back up and this is the 10 o'clock candlestick that closed. I saw price come back up and um, I said, okay, you know what? I'm going to chill and wait to see what's going to happen next because where I want to enter the trade is too low. I'm going to wait and I'm going to be patient, right? But I knew I wanted to be short. So the first thing I'm doing with TMP, that's what my strategy is called. T, I'm looking for the trend and I'm telling myself, hey, this is the position that I'm taking. I'm the buyer or the seller. I, I'm one of those the moment I see the price chart unless something changes, right? So when we go over here to the three minute time frame, the three minute is up top, the one minute is on the bottom. We go to the three minute time frame and the 10 o'clock candle that I'm looking for is this long, well actually it was this doji and then we go into this long bearish candlestick here and the price ends up making a new low. Now when the market made a new low, I said, okay, you know what? It's confirmed, I should actually really be the seller. Why am I the seller? Because when price makes a new lower low, Shaquan wants to sell. Like that's all I know at that point. Now I go down to my one minute time frame because I want to get a better glimpse of this lower low here. So we can see on the one minute time frame, price makes a lower low. And now at this time when price makes a lower low, I'm like, you know what? I actually want price to come back up to stay below the lower high at 1.25. 976 so i can take a sale so i already knew i wanted to sell from that area which is this first red line here but then something ended up happening that kept me as the seller so that i can get into the trade but not as high what ends up happening is price makes a new lower low now at around this time when the new lower low is made it's around 10 15 10 16 and you can see that price starts to create of these dojis and then we get this bullish and go up in candlestick or this bullish hammer and then boom price pops back up so because price made a new lower low and you can see on a three minute time frame again lower low lower high lower low now i still want to be the seller but i'm changing where i sell at so now i want to sell below 1.25888 and this is when i enter the trade now on the one minute time frame where price comes back up to where I want to enter the trade that's based on this red line below 1.25888 price creates this this bullish hammer and I end up entering on that bullish hammer um and then you know I set my stop loss I set my take profit which those were already set before I enter the trade everything is always already set before I enter the trade uh so I knew my stop loss was going to be around 4.5 pips wanting to bank 7.6 pips out of the market and I entered a trade, next candlestick, bearish, feeling good. Next candlestick is this bullish hammer, fine. And then price goes up, stops me out, then goes my way. <sighs> okay, let's talk about how much I went into the trade. 
I ended up entering the trade at 15 lots or $150 per pip. Now this means that with this stop loss at 4.5 pips and this lot size, I end up losing $750. Had I won this trade, I would have won $1,140. Now there is a charge, right? That's the spread. On top of losing $750, I also lost $105, okay? Because 15 times 0.7, you know, it's around 105 or 106 or something like that. So now that's added to how much I lost in the actual trade. And that's something that we have to talk about. When you lose or win a trade, please count the spread in there. So you can know like, okay, well, even though I won or lost this, this is how much the trade actually cost me, right? All in all, I have to say this. I lose a trade like this once a week. My analysis can be right. Everything can be set up so beautifully, so perfectly. And then boom, I get stopped out and the price goes my way. And uh, I was just talking to my students about this yesterday, this exact same setup that happens once a week to me. And here's the only solution I have. Stop using stop losses. And once price goes my way, then I put the stop loss on. But then that goes against my rules for having a stop loss because the stop loss is supposed to protect me. How do I know that price won't just keep going after a candlestick like that, right? Honestly, I won't know, right? I honestly won't know. Um, and so even though I'm not upset about the trade because the trade went my way, sometimes it's upsetting when you do get stopped out and price goes your way. And then there are times when we could say shoulda, woulda, coulda's, right? But here's the thing. In this situation, would I have known that price would have done this in the given situation when I entered the trade? No. So I couldn't have done anything different. I wouldn't have done anything different and I shouldn't do anything different. So in this stage, right, you just have to say, well, because I know this happens once a week or at least once a week, this is actually a normal part of my losses. It's normal. Um, I think as traders, we have to say, okay, normally I get stopped out because of this situation. And we can either try to create a solution or say, hey, this is just normal and this is why I use proper risk management. And for the very good reason, this is why I use proper risk management. I only lost about 0.9% versus 1% of, of my capital. And that's the that's the goal. Keep the losses below 1%, right? But other than that, even though I was right and price went my way, it just stopped me out before it went my way. This is part of being a trader, whether you're a scalper, day trader, or swing trader. Normalize the losses. And tomorrow, I'm going to come back mine fresh if i have another setup i'll take the next setup and if i don't oh well right but this is my tmp setup and it does normally work today it worked just got stopped up before it worked okay uh but prayfully tomorrow that doesn't happen prayfully tomorrow i can come back in the markets um especially after having a, a nice win on friday a small loser on thursday and a really nice winner on wednesday and, you know, prayfully, I can go in again and do the same thing and it works out differently. That's all we can ever hope for a word, right? But I pray you guys have a great trading day today. I pray you have a great trading week. And even if today did not pan out the way you wanted it to, you still have tomorrow as long as God wakes you up. And even if it went your way, hey, praise God for the win and let's set up for tomorrow, okay? I'll talk to you guys in the video. You guys be blessed.